So, you want to create a lip sign animation for your character? Easy and fast? Oh, okay. Hey, Macro is here! <laughs> this video is brought to you by Script Fighter, and today I want to share with you a very simple and mind blowing script for lips animation. SF Caddy, it's incredibly fast, so let me show you. But before that, if you want to download this illustration for free, check out the link below. Okay, here as you can see, I have all the position of the mouth, and I need to create the pre composition from it. So click with the right mouse button and create the pre composition. I'll change the name, ok, and I just got the pre-composition here, double click on it, and here we are in the pre-composition, for all these layers, I need just one frame, so go on the first frame, select all the layers, then hold shift plus control and hit the D keyboard button, and I need to change the position of the layers. Every position of the mouth needs to be in the separate frame. Or you can use a shortcut. So select all the layers, click with the right mouse button, go into keyframe assistant, and select sequence layer. Okay, and basically that's it. Before I finish with the pre composition, I need to delete this black space here. So go into composition, then composition settings, and change the size. Ok, select all the layers and change the position of the layers, something like this. And this is important part, for example, if you have 11 position of the mouth, you need to have 11 frames for that, no more. Now we are in the main composition again and I will change the position of the mouth, something like this. And it's time for the SF Caddy script. So go into Windows, then down below, find SF Caddy. Click here and that's it. I just got the pop-up with SFK script and this big load items button and this is all what I need for the first step. So now select the mouse pre-composition, just hit the load items button. And I just got the 11 different items for 11 different mount positions. And now everything what you need to do. If you want to create a, a position of the mount on the second frame, go on the second frame and just hit the A button here. And that's it, I got the keyframe for that position of the mount. Then on the fourth frame, for example, I need the U position of the mount, just go on the fourth frame and click the U item here. On the seventh frame, for example, I will need Z position of the mount, I will just hit the button and I got the keyframe. Look at this, it's so simple. Now you can change the position of the keyframes, you can delete it, create the new one and do whatever you want. Here you can go into settings and change a bunch of different things. For example, I want bigger buttons here. So I will change the size and you can change the distance between buttons as well. Just hit save and that's it. Now it's much better for the workflow. And I will go into settings again and here as you can see I have grey background color and I need to change it. I want something like a skin color. So go here in back color and create a skin color. I'll try something like this, ok, save and that's it, I got that I want. And one more thing, for example here I have different O shapes, the small O shape and the big O shape, and the same name for those shapes, so I want to change it, here it will be small O shape, here will be big O shape, and so if you want to change the name just hold control on the keyboard and click the item, and this will be the O small. Ok, I just changed the name and here will be the O big, just hold control, ok, now I have O small and O big. Ok, as you can see it's incredible script, in the past I used it a couple of different methods for it and it was very hard, so usually I skip that part of the animation. Now with this tool I will do that part of the animation with ease, so if you want to download the script check out the link below and if you want to use this illustration to test it you can find the link for that as well. So see you in the next video and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.